First of all, who's ever had their house uh, robbed before? Has anybody ever had a burglar in their house? In our house. We've had the well, burglar well, who got hit by a screen. <laughs> <laughs> Most of you okay, well, today oh, we're going to talk about I'm sorry, yeah. Well, a lot of lots of people have been robbed before, and uh, that's actually really annoying. If you didn't know, if you've never been robbed before, it's really annoying because you can lose a lot of money on things that get stolen. And uh, so today we're going to talk about gun control, which is the attempt by the government to cut down on crime and burglar burglars breaking into houses and barns and all that type of stuff. So. Um, First of all, what is gun control? Gun control is the restrictions on guns, handguns, shotguns, rifles, all guns like that, just to prevent people from robbing other people's houses and also murder, crime, all crime, pretty much in general. And um, England is one country that has passed a lot of gun control laws. In 1997, they made a ban on all handguns. So no, no private person was allowed to own a handgun and even the cops, I mean, they're allowed to have handguns, of course, but they weren't allowed to own it, you know, themselves. It had to be their own, it provided by the government to them to do their job. And then they also made a lot of restrictions on hunting guns. Like, if you wanted to go hunting, then you had to, you had to get a gun, of course, and, but you had to go through a lot of red tape to get your gun. You had to do t take tons of tests that you had to pass. You had to fill out lots of sheets, sign lots of papers, and uh, to, to show your motive and everything, and they didn't want people committing crimes. So they did that to cut down on their crimes because they were afraid of their high crime rate. So the result of their gun control laws was, first of all, that their crime rate skyrocketed. The, the crime rate went way up, and people were doing committing crimes all over the place. And besides murder and rape, their crime rate went above America's. And that was a real shock to them because America is a huge country, and they thought that America's crime rate was very high. So they they, they took pride in that, that their crime rate was below ours. But then it went above ours, and now over there there's 55 crimes per 100 people in England. So and that's a lot of crimes. So uh, Dan Rather, he said one time in his uh, CBS show that their crime rate had gone a lot higher than ours, and they were furious. But then they did a test, and they, they figured it all out, and they found out that it is way higher than ours. So Michael, can you wait, please? Test. Then another thing is that their, the criminals will become bolder. And that's exactly what happened in England. The peop they, they came into people's houses, and they know that the people in the house are not going to have a gun, right? So Because that's against the law. But they're criminals already. So they keep their gun and they can rob people's houses and they 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 think that they're not gonna have any opposition. I mean they just they can go in there with a gun and, you know, shoot and they can take whatever they want and there's I mean they can just do whatever they want in the house and there's no opposition. And fifty three percent of burglaries over there occur while the occupants are at home. So I mean that that's a that's a pretty scary number right there that people will they, they'll sit in their house and suddenly a guy can come to their house with a gun and they won't know what to do. Like they won't have a gun, all, you know, they can use a knife, but what's that against a gun? Um, another thing is that even armed crime rose. It rose higher than it was before they had gun control laws. Because, as I said before, there's bolder criminals. And so they, the armed crime rose steeply. And crime involving handguns, which were banned completely, rose 40% in the two years that they had such strict laws. And that was back in 1999. So, and that was still rising. So imagine what it is now. There's a lot of handgun crimes over there that are up, even though the handguns are illegal. And then um, also, it's it's not safe to walk the streets in the dark anymore in, in London, or in England in general. I mean, there's criminals all over the place, and they, I mean, they, they go scot-free, they think. I mean, because they have a gun and no one else has a gun, so you can't go in the park at night anymore, you know? You just can't, I mean, you have to be careful wherever you go. You have to know because there, there can be people anywhere, especially people who are going to commit crimes. So, um, th and the chances that 
you're going to get mugged. In London, is five times that than in New York. And New York is it was known for their crime, and not not so much anymore. But they still have a lot of crime there, and it's and if it's five times that in London, that's pretty bad. And it's not safe to walk in London anymore, even in the daytime. And then, um, so I think that the U.S. should not make any more restrictions on guns than they already have. First of all, because the crime rate will skyrocket, and we do not want higher crime than we already have, because we already have quite a high crime rate, as you can see by how many people have already gotten robbed just in this room. And then also criminals will be bolder. They'll go into houses, they'll do whatever they want, and there's nothing to stop them. They can rob the house, they can take whatever they want, they can, they can kill, they can do whatever they want, because there will be no guns in the house, right? Because, I mean, the people can have other weapons, but that's not going to be anything against a gun. And also people will be less safe. They, they can't go anywhere without being safe because they, you know, concealed weapons will obviously be illegal. So, I mean, what's, what are you going to do if a, if a criminal pulls a gun on you? Then also, only law-abiding citizens will turn in their guns because they don't want to go against the law. But the people that are already going against the law, the criminals, what's it to them if they have a gun? I mean, they're going against the law, but they don't care. I mean, they're already against the law. If they get caught, they're going to get charged with all the crimes they've already committed. Plus this, I mean, it's not going to do much for them. I mean, they can keep their gun, they can do whatever they want, they can roam the streets, murdering. I mean, they're probably most likely going to get caught, but if they're already criminals, what's the point of handing in your gun? So, I mean, that's obviously a major reason why we shouldn't make gun control laws. Then, um, also we can take a big example from England's gun control laws. They're, it was tragically unsuccessful. Their crime rate skyrocketed. The murders, it rose a lot, even though it's not quite above the U.S. itself, but it's rising. So, I mean, we have to take example from all these things. In England, it's the people are not safe anymore. Uh, like Mr. E, he, he has a he has a weapon and he can protect his <laughs> house. <laughs> but if there's a gun control law, Mr. E's going to hand in his gun, obviously, because he doesn't want to be a criminal. And that's what lots of people are going to do, and they're going to be defenseless if a guy comes into their house. So, in conclusion, we can see that gun control actually raises crime and does the opposite of the purpose. So, as Mystery would say, there is the uh, unintended consequence. It does exactly the opposite of what they want it to do. Then, for people, another thing we can see is that people will be less safe, and they will feel less safe. They won't want to go places they would go before. I mean, going to a bar, like lots of people do. Uh, it will be dangerous because you don't have any defense. Lots of people carry concealed weapons that you don't know. Like you, like you might see a person walking down the road, you wouldn't expect them to have a gun, but they might. So you'll be less safe and you'll also feel less safe. So you can see that the U.S. should not make gun control laws because it will be completely unsuccessful by all these reasons. You can just, it's just not going to work. Crime will skyrocket, people will be less safe. Uh, murder will go up, and, and we don't want that to go up at all, obviously. And it, it'll be very tragic. So. Okay, go ahead. Are you supposed to talk to me? I'll just well, not necessarily, because, I mean, it, it, yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with a bar. I mean, if you go into a bar and you can't defend yourself against a guy going on a rampage, I mean, lots of people, okay, a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is kind of off subject, but uh, I know that Dan Skipper went into England, and he's, he, he likes, he, that was when he liked paintballing, and he said that uh, it's, you even have to have, like, a lot of restrictions even to get one of them, a paintball gun. And yeah. I mean, it's really hard because they say you can get to like, get a kind of license sort of thing for it. Sure. Yeah, and even a paintball gun is better than a knife against a guy who has a real gun. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you can shoot him and stun him a little bit, but what can you do with anything? I mean, what else are you going to do with airsoft guns? Nick? Um, you said that 53 people out of 100 commit crimes? Well, there's 55 crimes per 100 people. Okay. But not so, necessarily that they're committed. Okay. So why would it make criminals more, why would it make them bolder to go in a person's house? If the crime rate, crime, crime rate went up, that, how would they know that the people don't have a gun? 